This is a look at Gary Matthews. That's his real name, but for the uh, most part of his 44 years, he hasn't acted or even dressed like a human being. Instead, he's taken on the persona of a dog. This, this story gets better and better. Gary says he just feels more comfortable dressing in his boomer costume than being, well, a human being like the rest of us. Something tells me he might have been abused as a puppy. That freak on a leash is Gary, but he answers to Boomer the dog. Boomer is a mutt, part human, part shreds of the sports section. People get dogs for companionship. People become dogs because they locked eyes with one while they were both peeing into a magic fountain. Owning a dog is like having a child that has the decency to die before the awful teenage years. We only created dog years so we don't have to face the creepy fact that something can have 10 babies by the age of two outside of Utah. Who wouldn't want to be a dog? They sleep 14 hours a day, play poker with their friends, and get to hump everything. They're like frat boys with a better understanding of the word no. And please stop saying you rescued your dog. Driving to the pound and pointing at one isn't a rescue. It's just a used dog. And what's with all these designer crossbreeds? Interesting dog. Did you get it from PetSmart or Hogwarts? At least you have some exciting new meat options in your dim sum. Boomer's a real dog person, and I respect that. When I found him, he was skin and bones, <laughs> shivering in an alley. So I did the right thing and let him chase me all the way to Hollywood, where every dog is a better actor than Taylor Kitsch and this week's celebrity profile. Baby, shake. Good boy, speak. It's nice to meet you, Daniel. I'm Boomer. Nice to meet you, Boomer. Get some help with your bag, sir. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Racist motherfucking dog. Okay, all right. When you're not in your dog costume, should I call you Gary or should I still call you Boomer? Oh, yeah, I'm always Boomer the dog. That's what all my friends know me as. Can your friends talk? <laughs> yeah, they're regular people, most of them, and I have dog friends, too. You have a job? Not really. Actually, I'd like to do more in the dog realm. Uh, sure. As far as costuming, I would like to mascot and do things maybe for parties more. What breed of dog are you? I'm a Pyrenean Shepherd. Shaggy, long fur, salt and pepper colored. At, at what age did you say, you know what, I'm feeling more like a dog than a human? 13 or 14 years old. I just had a dream, a waking dream of changing and transforming into a dog. I'd like to think, you know, that I'm like the uh, bridge between, like, the canine and human worlds. Well, you're a pretty good dog. <laughs> do you have to do that if I say good dog? No, but I usually do when somebody does. It just feels natural? It makes me feel, like, more canine. More treat? Good boy. You're not bad. <laughs> Is it the same suit you've had the entire time, or is this multiple suits? It's the same actual suit. I mean, maybe every month I maintain it because it's shredded paper. Mm -hmm. It's actually been tougher than you'd think it would be. No, I can imagine it's pretty hard. Do the neighbors ever complain about you uh, peeing on their yard or anything? <laughs> maybe privately, because people online say, well, how many dead children does he have in his uh, basement? And the answer? <laughs> None. None. <laughs> That's right. How about howling? Do you howl? When a siren goes off, I've done that because the dogs, my dogs would always do that. What about when you sing? I always do that to my dogs. I go, sing. And then they start going crazy. Oh, do they? Oh, that's fun. And they go off with sirens, too? I don't, I, you know, in my neighborhood, you don't hear a lot of sirens. <laughs> oh, that's right. Have you ever walked a dog in your dog outfit? No, you know, that's something I want to do. I'd like to have a breed who looks like me and actually walk them. That would to be see cute, too, if it was a think. full size and you were walking it, and then she had a puppy with a little leash walking her dog. That'd be a great photo. I'd you put it on my Christmas card. That'd be a wonderful Christmas card. <laughs> Are you fixed? No way. That's not necessarily a dog thing, because that's what humans do to dogs. It's a very good point. Can you lick your own balls? I don't think so. What do you mean? You haven't even tried? What kind of dog are you? <laughs> I'm about this far away. Oh. At, at the height of my flexibility, I might have been that far away. <laughs> when you're having sex doggy style, do you say me style? Believe it or not, I haven't done it. You've never had sex? Not really. Not really? I've just played around a little bit. What I really like are 
anthropomorphic creatures. That would be the fantasy of the half dog and half humans. They don't exist. They don't exist. It's an abstract concept, so it's kind of really weird. What I'm attracted to also doesn't exist. What is that, may I ask? This is not about me, Boomer. I could go on forever, and it's not going to end pretty. The thing is, is when you're really young and you play dog, nobody really says anything about it. But there comes an age when you are start, sure. have to start being responsible. <laughs> yeah, it might be eight now. You eight. Know, you got to get your own phone. You have to get, you know, everything, right? Well, you just can't be a dog anymore. <laughs> Mary f Hill, Old Yeller, Lassie, Snoopy. Oh, I'd probably uh, marry Lassie. I'd probably marry Lassie. That's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> you marry Lassie. She's beautiful. And no one's dying in a well under her watch. Timmy's caught in the well again. Always in the well. Why don't you close that well up? Pour some men in it and sand. Well, put a board over it permanently. <laughs> yeah. All right, Boomer. Every dog has his day, and this is yours. I've entered you in a dog show. And since you're the only entry in the category of guy who thinks they're a dog, you will be competing for best in show. <laughs> You gonna go potty, Boomer? Good boy, come on. Okay, buddy, let's go out there and win this thing. Let's go. Welcome back to the Northwest Mr. Dog Show, brought to you by Purina, the McDonald's of dog food, by Best Buy, like Amazon, but with less selection and higher prices, and by Paper Clips, the only way to hold paper together besides staples. First up, the winner of the non-working category, Boomer the Dog. Boomer is a 48-year-old mixed breed with fur made of recycled copier paper. Look at the hog on Boomer. Easy to see why he's the crowd favorite. Take him down and back. Come on, Boomer. I need you to shine. The time has come for each best in breed to compete for the coveted title of best in show. Boomer's a clear standout of the group, mostly because he's a man. <laughs> Funny story about the guy with the invisible dog. His real dog recently died. The Poodle, the Havanese, and the Boomer. Take them around one more time, please. There are your top three. I'm baffled by the judge's decision, but then again, I have no idea how this sport works. Third, second, best in show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd see a person win a dog show, but then again, I never thought Conan would be on television for 25 years. And there is a celebration hunk well deserved. Sad news, guys. Unfortunately, Boomer ran away. If you see him, please contact me. There's a $25,000 reward. Dead or alive, I just need closure. 